That ain't no beer belly, that's a fuel tank for a whoop-ass machine. And I'm about to open up a can on your ass right now! What's going on, you beer guzzling song bitches? You're back here with the Beer Hunter for Beer of the Day. And today, we're going to be trying Saranac Goat Rodeo. Now this is a pale Bach lager. Now uh, Bach beer, from my understanding, is supposed to have a little more kick like a billy goat. And uh, so it, it has a 6% alcohol by volume with 21 IBUs. Now let's see what's up in this motherfucker. It is two types of German hops combined with a trio of malt, German Pilsner, Caravienna, and old school four malted lager malt. We use a step mash process for added depth in this rich malty bock. Now it sounds like a pretty simple process, much like the guys out in the, uh, the Appalachian Mountains making some moonshine. Oh hell yeah. Now we can get down with that, right? Anyway, Bach beer, um, it is what it is. It's got a little more kick, like I said, and that's where the name comes from. And uh, we're about to do a bottles up on this song, bitch, but first we must pop the top on this song, bitch. You ready to rock? Oh, hell yeah. Now we're gonna pour this up in my glass from the last beer. I did rinse, so. Probably had a little water residual. Very, very gold light looking beer. Which is what it is. Lots of bubbles. Screaming bubbles. Classic style looking beer. Head, very white, creamy, dissipating very quickly. It will be gone soon. Smell. I'm telling you what. That there smells like a, Jesus, it's just a light beer, like a light classic, Coors Light, maybe even, Coors Light Bud Light, you know the, 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 the drill here, Miller Light, maybe even slightly PBR, not a light beer, but that smell, you all know, don't lie. We're hitting up the taste test. And it is a um, very wet, thin, it's not heavy. And um, light tasting actually. Most light beers are right around 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, you know the deal. This here is rocking at a six, but it drinks like a 4.2. You can probably find yourself laying down after about nine. But then again, you never know. Everybody's different. Um, it's. I really like Saranac, but I can't tell you that this is a good beer. I would be lying. Oh, I'll drink it. Yes, I'll drink it. But it's nothing I'm going to look for again. It was in a variety pack because I really wanted to try, try that um, Heart of the Hop and um, and the Pale Ales are, are always good with Saranac. So this here, it's just a, uh, a, you know what, you could almost, the taste is like in between like a, like a Blood Light, Coors Light and a, <laughs> I'm going to go extreme. And like a Natty Daddy or something like the two who came together, splish splashed around, and formed up in a bottle, and I poured it up in my glass. Oops, <laughs> that's not a black and tan, but it's a combination of two. That's the way it comes across. It's got that real <sighs> alcoholic type. You can, you can, you know what I'm talking about, right? It is more like one of those uh, high gravity type beers. That's where the kick's coming from. Yes, but they try to keep it light tasting. That's what it's almost like, man. Like a high gravity or a natty daddy, something like that. And um, not the hottest, man. Not for a craft brewery. Um, man, 
Look at that beer advocate. There's no score. The bros have no score. Uh, availability, availability is during the winter. And I think after this winter, they should never bring it back. Personally, I don't like to dog on any beer because it's all beers. Time and energy and effort and all that went into it. And um, surely somebody thought it was pretty goddamn good. I, I'm sure there's a handful of people. Three out of ten might really enjoy this. I mean, you know, it's, a little, it's about half, especially if you have more than one. You're going to enjoy it a little more. Even the worst beer out there, if you're, if you're looking to drink, and you got the worst beer in the world out there, which I don't even know if, if there is what the worst one is. <laughs> if there is, uh, guys, comment down here. Is there a rating for the worst beer in the world? I don't know. Anyway, point is, one of the shittiest beers that you can find at your local any market, you go ahead, you drink two, after that first one, the second one's not that goddamn good, bad, you know what I mean? Like, the first one wasn't good, but the second one, you're like, you know, this isn't that bad. <laughs> it works every time. So, I'm sure if I went to a second, it wouldn't be so bad, but for Craft Brewery, the Matt Brewing Company in Utica, New York, 20 minutes from my house, I'm disappointed. But, you can't win them all, like they say, right? And um, I'm not going to really, really shit on it. Like I said, I'm going to throw it at a, a 70. A 70 might be a little too fair. <laughs> a six, 65 is where it's just passing because it's beer, man. Beer always passing. I mean, if it was... A gravity. I mean, it is a Bach beer, so 70. There you go. Bach's supposed to have that extra kick. That it is what it is. Trying to label it, and I'm not big into the box, so maybe that's just me. And um, there it is, 70 for Saranac Goat Rodeo Pale Bach. Now, if you guys go get the variety pack. Give this one to your friends and drink the uh, Heart of the Hop. It's way better. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, comment down here. If you want to contribute to the channel because now we're now ad-free, you go to patreon.com slash Robin Kimball brand. And you can contribute a dollar. You can tri contribute more and get free prizes. A t-shirt of your choice from my store, sonsofwrestling.com. And there is a couple Beer Hunter shirts available. And um, you can pick whatever color you want, I'll have it sent to you. And you get a shout out on, it, on videos, you can even pick beer of the day. As long as I'm able to get that beer, that is. You get to choose beer of the day, that's pretty goddamn cool. Yeah, so trying to uh, eliminate those pesky ads, they're all gone now. I'm running a trial and I'm doing Patreon. So if you want to become a patron, throw a buck in there. Thank you very much because you're supporting the channel and allowing me to buy a couple new beers. Bottoms up, like I said, give this one to your friends, take the good ones. All right, peace.